Okay, hi guys, it's Rumi, the math person, and I'll be going over question number 328 on the SOA exam P. So I'll give you pause the video and solve the problem and try it yourself. Okay, so it says a loss in the reliability policy is multiplied by an exponential distribution. So we know that the x is our loss and that is our x exponential distribution, whatever that may be. It could be, um, we just don't know what lambda is yet for t greater than 0. Now, y is our payout to the customers, and that is, we have a deductible of 2,000. So anything less than our deductible, it's 0. And anything greater than our deductible is going to be x minus c. Well, you'll notice that um, they give you the probability that the reimbursement is less than 6,000, given the loss is greater than our deductible is equal to 0.5 well and they also say what you want to find this is what you want to find is the probability that the reimbursement oh, let me write it like this is between 3,000 and 6,000 given that the x is greater than our deductible what is this question mark okay so that's what we want to find but what's something tricky about this question is that you have to realize that there is a memory list property for exponential function okay so this is a little proof right here i'm not going to go into it right now but basically to sum it up sum it up it's the idea that um exponential distribution has what happens in the past has no bearing on its future behavior so be, because of this property it really doesn't matter that about the con conditions that x is greater than 2000 and it actually ends up being that the loss um the payout distribution is going to be the same as your loss distribution um so that means our cdf for x we already know that that's our exponential right so it just means it's one minus e to the negative t over lambda equals oh and we also know that this is at six thousand it's equal to 0.5 so then we can actually rep replace this t with six thousand and then solve for this lambda which is what we need so that means 0.5 equals e to the negative 6,000 over lambda. Then that means lambda is equal to negative 6,000 over 0.5, which ends up being, let me type it into my calculator real quick. Actually, I'm just going to leave it like this. Oh, also don't forget the natural log. I'm going to take natural log of both sides. Okay, so lambda is approximately equal to 8656. Now, we want to find a probability that it's between 3,000 and, oh, what is it? Oh, 9,000. I don't know why I wrote 6,000 here. This is 9,000. I just wrote it here. So, if we find a CDF from 0 to 9,000 and then subtract it from 0 to 3,000, that gets you what we want right here. So, that's what we're going to do. So, we're going to find the CDF from 9,000 to 3,000. Which is going to be equal to, let's plug it into our calculator. So using our little lambda being here, so that's going to be your equation 1 minus e to the negative, um, what is the first one? 9000 over 8656 min minus 1 minus e to the negative, what is this? Oh. 3,000 over 8656 and let me plug it into my calculator which turns out to be about 0.35 which is your answer choice 